How do you know if your child is growing normally? Max was just two and a half when his mother discovered his failure to grow might be cause for concern. Our son Max was always small, but we weren't concerned because I come from a family of late bloomers. However, I became alarmed when he fell off his growth curve and started having health issues. He could no longer keep up with his classmates and even his younger brother. My husband and I took him to several doctors, and in March of last year, he was diagnosed with growth hormone deficiency. Max's mom, Erin, joins us today and also back to discuss growth disorders is the Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer, Dr. Frida Lewis-Hall. Welcome back. Thank you so much. And obviously, Erin, the curiosity is, how is Max doing? He's doing really well. He's, um, he's four, he'll be five next month. He started growth hormone treatment last April. He's grown since then. Thank you. And it is so good that you took early action in the way that you did because that can lead to better results. Most growth problems can be treated. Timing is critical, however, so it's really important that parents have a really sharp eye on the growth and development of their children, just as Aaron did. It's a really good point. And joining us now is pediatrician Dr. Tanya Altman. And Dr. Altman, what advice do you have for parents in that regard? Well, it is very important that parents take their children to the pediatrician's office for regular well-child visits. At every visit, we document a child's height and weight, and we do this from birth all the way up through puberty, and we plot this information on the growth chart. And height and weight are very good indicators of a child's overall health. And let's talk about some of the factors that do influence height, weight, et cetera. Well, there's genetics, there's gender, nutrition, physical activity, and hormones. They all together play a role, and this can vary greatly from family to family. And you know, we've all seen these growth charts, but tell us, what is it that you get from that information? So looking at the growth chart, you can see a child's height and weight compared to other children of the same age and the same gender. And what we look for is a consistent pattern over time, that they're sort of growing along a curve. And this is very important to let us know that a child is growing and developing appropriately. You can't expect the same thing for any two kids, but what should parents expect in terms of growth? So after age two, a child should really grow at least two inches a year through puberty. And if they're not, then that is a sign that there may be a growth disorder. And it's important because there can be a lot of different reasons why growth disorders occur. One is caused by a problem in the pituitary gland. It's located at the base of the brain. Pituitary and other endocrine problems can lead to a deficiency or even an excess of hormones that can trigger growth issues during childhood and adolescence leading to these issues that need to be addressed. And also, if there's a deviation from a child's growth rate, it can be a signal for problems with the heart, the kidney, the digestive system, or emotional disorders. And while most people associate growth problems with short stature, growing too tall too fast, that can also signal a growth disorder. And parents should really monitor the growth and development of their children between pediatrician visits. Now, I used to do it the old-fashioned way, you know, marking the kids um, and how tall they were getting on the wall. But parents can do that, and they can also monitor how quickly their children are growing out of shoes and clothes. Keep your eye on other things, too. Development areas like teeth, eyesight, hearing, motor skills, balance. Absolutely, absolutely. And if a parent thinks their child is not growing as they should, Talk to your doctor about it right away. Your doctor may refer you to a pediatric endocrinologist. That's a specialist that would diagnose and treat a growth disorder. And of course, for more information on growth disorders, you can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com. And what advice do you have for parents out there dealing with this issue? You know, it's very daunting when your child is diagnosed with a growth disorder. And I would say seek support. Ask your doctor if they can tell you somewhere you can find support or utilize social media. So it's really been very helpful for my husband and I to find other parents going through this. Erin, thank, thank you, Dr. Altman. Of course. Dr. Phyllis Hall, always a pleasure having you. It's you can always hit, hit up the doctorstv.com. And we wish Max the best. We'll be right back.